yo, 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 what's up, YouTube? This is your boy Jay from Keeping It Real, your arbiter of gaming news and commentary, hitting you off with a studio production video where you know this is your channel, where all gamers' voices are heard. With your boy Jay always dropping the word, keeping them other gaming YouTubers like what you heard, and where you always know we always, always keep it all the way real. So what's up everybody? I just want to thank you all for checking out my studio production video today. And um, I just want to thank everybody who is, you know, commenting and subscribing. You know, all of you, you know, welcome to the Keep It Real family. And um, I really appreciate it. You know, um, this is this is why I do this, you know, every day. So I really appreciate the support. So yeah, man, let me go ahead and dig right in this video. And this one's going to be another the real reason why series um and this one's gonna be on the real reason why microsoft is not doing a whole lot of comparisons and stuff like that because there's been some rumblings you know in the xbox community um about rather you know microsoft should just be going full force right now with a bunch of comparisons and showing off just how good the xbox x is and by comparison to um the ps4 and and how much more better and how much of a bigger upgrade it would be um to the s and um you know uh, there's a lot of guys who are really frustrated you know about this because obviously the recent uh, things that's came out from Digital Foundry has proven and shown without a shadow of a doubt that the X is superior um, and in some cases even much even far much so than the PC um, you know looking at Tomb Raider so that gives you a sign and you got to remember um, the game is not even fully optimized yet this is just a patch so we're not even looking at the full um, upgrade of what the x is going to um actually have once it's when you once it's on retail uh store shelves um we're not even seeing the real actual full upgrade so that's just telling you right there that this thing is incredible it's just like what we have been saying all this time that uh how much of a huge um upgrade the x really is um so it begs the mind that you know microsoft must have known this right and obviously digital foundry they looked at it early on and was impressed um with what they seen and obviously now they're just blown away so you know they know this and it begs the question you know why is this coming a lot from digital foundry because digital foundry early on did the unveil of the specs and they they were blown away then but of course they wanted to see more games now they've had the opportunity to see more games. Now they're just completely, they're blown out off, out of their socks. So they're already knowing that, man, this thing is freaking incredible. It's, it's, it's a game changer. So um, that would, you know, you would think Microsoft would be pushing as hard as hell, right? You know, showing every, showing it off, showing everybody that, yeah, you know, this is a console to get. And I think I'm going to break it down the real reason of why we're not really seeing such a huge push at this moment from Microsoft when it comes to comparisons and when it comes to really trying to show you that true difference um, of what the console is. Uh, so I would like to first start out with the fact that this is what a lot of guys got to understand. This is what is not really understood uh, when it comes to you know Microsoft or any company. You have to separate what the the fans or just the consumers want over the actually the the actual company. Okay, so let me put it in other words. Us as gamers, of course, we want everything now, now, now. I mean, we instant gratification in the mug, but okay, we're all about instant gratification. We're all about right now because we're excited. You got to remember, for us, we've been waiting, right? So we're really excited. But you got to understand it from a business standpoint. You got to understand it from Microsoft's standpoint. From their standpoint, they have a plan, and they have timing of which they do. They they coordinate this plan and they apply the plan. And 
they're not going to change or move that timing based on us acting a fool. You know what I mean? Because they already know they got the hottest product. Th th that's not in question. Obviously, they know that. And Digital Foundry just confirmed that. So the thing is, for them, they're rolling things out based on a timing that is that is already set into their plans. We learned that when we thought the X was going to come out sooner. A lot of us, and I'm included, thought that the X would most likely, based on a lot of things that we we're seeing, that the X would uh, maybe be coming out at least a month sooner. But we learned that, no, they're just keeping it to November. So that was a big indication that told you that no, they're keeping to what their plans is. Obviously, they got their, their they got their plans set like that for a reason. This is something that's been long in the making. It's not something that's just changing on a whim just based on us bitching about it. You know what I mean? No, they got plans that's set for them. So that tells you right there that they do things on a timing, on their own timing based on their own plans. And if you really think about it, we still got a good two months before the X actually drops. So the, the fact is, it appears that really they're doing this just the way similar to what they you've already seen them how they do it is they let digital foundry come out and do the groundbreaking analysis because think about this from this way what is the best way that in the most neutral way that you could you could see comparisons do you think it would be more impactful if microsoft just came out themselves and was showing off games or if, is it more impactful that Digital Foundry do it? You know damn well if Microsoft did it, oh man, all you would hear is, oh yeah, right, man, that's probably not the real even video of the PS4 Pro. Man, you, you know Microsoft, man, they always trying to lie. And I mean, they'll be coming up with all types of damage control and BS, man, and be, be trying to say, oh, you know, Microsoft is that's made up. How do we know that's real? And, you know, you hear all this be. I mean, and Microsoft as a company, they don't want to get caught up in that whole fiasco. You got to understand, Microsoft as a company, they're they're above all that. You know, I don't know if you've noticed, but when it comes to Phil, he's not a type of guy that wants to get caught up in a bunch of BS with people. You know asking real redder is that real ps4 where did they get that from you know what i mean all that all that bs so what do you what do they do no they put the guys on it that you know ain't for microsoft for liking them no they're gonna look at what the real tech is they're gonna analyze it and they're gonna speak the truth and that's how you do it you you let them do it because if you think about it, that's a smart plan because that eliminates all the BS. You know what I mean? That that makes it, you know, as clear as clear as can be. And yeah, you're going to have some fanboys going to still talk their crap regardless. But they always would talk their crap. I mean, they're, you know, they're about to get their, their ass handed to them. You know, and they're about to be eating some, have some serious egg on their face and be eating some serious crow. They're already eating it. So, of course, I mean, they're going to say whatever they feel like they want to say just to try to feel good about themselves. That's a given. I mean, that's just how it is. That ain't going to never change. But the fact is, as a whole, uh, for a company, I think Microsoft is doing a really start, smart strategy. And I think that's one of the real reasons one of the real reasons why you're not seeing that you're seeing it from digital foundry first you notice they did this with the reveal now you're noticing that they're doing this with the comparisons that's not by mistake you know it, it's not like microsoft didn't know that digital foundry was going to see all this analyze all this and keep it to themselves no they knew digital foundry would come out and talk about it and they would be excited about it um and they knew they they would be impressed with what they seen and they knew they would write articles about it and that's exactly what happened but they know that's the most neutral way that they can show comparisons at this point. You got to understand, we're at the stage of the game where it's two months out. What Microsoft doesn't want to do is show all their cards right away. Obviously, you got to understand, this is a tempo building little by little. It's like when you watch a movie, man. Some of the best movies are movies that that is going to, you know, immerse you into a world that is suspenseful and that is thrilling but that suspense is building 
It's building little by little, making you more and more curious, making you more and more involved, pulling you in more and more till it's a climactic, like big ass end where you're like, damn, man, shit. That was a crazy ass movie. Man, from start all the way to finish, it had me, you know, on edge. And now the ending was like, it was incredible. But think about it when you watch a movie, man, where all the action starts off, pops off all at first. And it's so crazy and all the action, but then once that died down, you kind of feel like, okay, your high is over, and now everything else is just kind of like, okay, it kind of it kind of subsides. It you, well, all your anticipation and uh, your suspense it subsides by then because you know all the action is all gone. You know you and and, and if it comes any more action, it's like okay, you, you you're not as wild by it anymore. You know. You have to have a tempo that rises little by little, comes out little by little, piquing your interest, having you be excited. You know, they don't want to just come out and show all their cards right away. It's obvious that they're having Digital Foundry be in the forefront for a reason. It's a, it, to ensure that anybody who didn't wouldn't believe them or who think now you're hearing it from Digital Foundry. OK, now these guys ain't no friends of Microsoft. That's for damn sure. OK, so that's telling you right there doing it that way is smart, because if you think about it, it's allowing for a lot of those naysayers, a lot of those haters to be marginalized. You see what I'm saying? You you don't think Microsoft don't know that they're, they got a lot of haters out there. You know, you don't think they don't know, you know, a lot of these gaming medias or haters haters. But when they see when gaming media has to report that, OK, you know, if Digital Foundry is saying it, they respect Digital Foundry a hell of a lot more than they respect Microsoft. <laughs> so the thing is, is this is a very smart strategy. If you really think about it, if you really dig into it and try to understand why they're doing what they're doing and where it comes from, it becomes very clear that, you know, they want to have a neutral party besides themselves confirming what they already know. And when that happens, it marginalizes the, the 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 biased media. It marginalizes fan Sony fanboys. It marginalizes all that. And then it puts the X in the forefront to where it could be undeniable. So if you really think about it, that's a smart ass strategy. And that is the real reason why Microsoft is doing this um, and why they're doing it this way. Um, and I, in my, in my opinion, I mean, and that's based off of just looking at how their, you know, their plans is and what they've been doing all the way from the S and how they've been rolling out the, 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 the X little by little. So that's the real reason. Um, and in my opinion, I think that's one of the primary reasons. Um, another reason is, you know, and this is more of just, you know, um, how they're putting everything together is like i said they really need to have this build little by little i think they're going to have their own way of showing you the power and i think when they do it it's going to be more of a um things like uh you going to they're going to do things like um you you go into a uh event where i don't know if you guys know about there's like these little trucks like these big old trucks you can step into them and you can play consoles and stuff like that where they do um game show events where it's it's on a smaller level or um stuff like where they just put them in um game stops and uh and best buys and stuff like that so you can actually see it and of course you're gonna have the ps4 pro you're going to have the Nintendo. You're going to have other consoles there. Um, they they did it when when it comes to the, the, the Gamescom. Thousands of people at Gamescom, gamers, got to see the, the power of the Xbox. Personal, live, there, playing it. Um, so, you know, Xbox is smart. I think their real marketing is going to really kick off um, at, at the first of next month. Because... Uh, I checked with Taco Bell and it looks like their promotion is going to kick off on the 31st of this month. So that's really telling because I think that's when Microsoft is going to really, you're going to see them just start amping up advertisements, showing more of the X, showing more games. And you're going to see that slowly start to amp up starting most likely this, uh, this first week of next month. 
you're going to start seeing a lot of different things coming out. I also think you're going to most likely start seeing some supporting features. Um, they might start talking a little bit more about what they're doing with Gamer Store or talking more a little bit more about the avatars and stuff like that. Um, just supporting features. So I, I just think they're going to leak things out little by little. They've already had um, Digital Foundry, you know, blow the whole game up by just, you know, shutting down all the haters and the naysayers. I mean, you know, so they, it's they strategically moving and putting their pieces in place step by step and you got to understand you got to let microsoft do that because at the end of the day they're looking at the big picture they're looking at the overall picture and for us as gamers a lot of times we're very impatient and we just want to hurry up and get this damn thing and play it but a lot of times uh the the planning of what a business does gets lost in translation you know what i mean because we're not on the same level as what they're they are and we're not looking at it from the standpoint that they are so yeah, man, I just thought I would drop a little knowledge on the real reason why Microsoft is doing what they're doing. Um, I want you guys to go ahead and hit me up in the comment box. Tell me what you think. It'll be interesting to see what you guys think. I mean, what do you guys think they're doing? What is your opinion on it? Um, you know, and we go from there. All right, man. Until the next time. This is Jay. I'm always keeping it real. And I'm gone.